welcome to you baby Rafa. Enjoy the start team story man of the army. <laughs> She whispered slowly, elbowing you while looking at the teacher. <laughs> you whine while peacefully sleeping, completely forgetting your environment. Teacher started to come closer to your desk and stood in front of her sleep figure while looking at your dead serious. He slammed his hands on your desk while you flinched hard and opened your eyes, sat straight and started looking at him. Do you think you can sleep in my class? You were just looking at him processing what's going on. Soon you realized you slapped her. You just stood up and bowed to him. I'm really sorry sir, it won't happen again. It's not your first time that you have slept in my class. So forget it, meet me after class. No sir, that won't be necessary. I promise I won't sleep again. Do I look like I need your advice? Just do as I say. Saying that, he laughed and started teaching again. While he sat down looking at him angrily, he somehow felt really uncomfortable around him. Bell rang and he came up to the class as it was break time. So Jungkook was standing right there as if he was waiting for you to come out. Soon you stepped out of the class and he came in front of you, blocking your way. You stopped and looked at him with blank expression while he looked at you with little loving eyes. Come with me. Sir, I already said sorry. If I do it again, then for sure punish me. Jungkook started to come closer to you while you stepped back, being shocked. He trapped you between wall and him and spoke deeply. Trust me, you won't like my punishment. Your heart now started beating rapidly while he backed off and spoke again. Come with me, I won't repeat again. Saying that, he started to walk away, and you being helpless followed him. Soon he stopped in front of a music room. He looked at you and opened the door, giving you space to walk in. When you entered, he came in and closed the door. He kept his hands inside his pocket and looked at you from head to toe, making you hella uncomfortable. Sir, oh, what happened? Why are we here? Jungle grabbed the chair and sat on it while looking at you. So, what's wrong? Why you kept sleeping in my class? No sir, nothing is wrong. Yesterday I was open till 3 am. That's why maybe I was tired. Really? You have a boyfriend? He asked with slight raised voice, making you scared. Why do you care? It's my personal life. Jungle chuckled, darkly looking like a psycho. Why do I care? Leave that and answer the freaking question. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Sir, please, I'm sorry. I don't want to be here now. I need to go and I will try my best not to sleep. Bye. Seeing that you ran out of there while Jungkook kept calling your name being angry. Time skipped after school. After school, you sat in metro in order to go home, but your thoughts were stuck on Jungkook's word. Why is he acting like this? From the day he has came in our school, he has always been like this. I don't understand why the hell he is acting strange just in front of me. There is no way he likes me. Because look at the age difference. I'm just 18 and he must be in his 20s. He is seriously just making me uncomfortable by his pervert behavior. Ah, oh, I wanna kick his butt. Soon you realize you just said it out loud and now everyone is looking at you. You closed your eyes in embarrassment and started looking outside the window. I'm just too tired. I'm going to take at least 5 hours nap once I get home. You entered your home and took off your shoes happily. You started to walk towards the living room. Mom, I'm home. Your words got stuck in your mouth and your mom spoke. Oh, look who's here. She said happily. Hello. He said in a deep voice while waving his hands. What the hell is he doing here? Sir, uh, hey, why are you here? 
behave. Who taught you to speak like that with guests? He just looked down while he smirked internally. He is here to do complain about you. You don't study? Do you just go to school to sleep? You looked at him with shocked eyes and he looked at you with proud teasing look. Your blood was boiling on him. That's not true mom, I was just tired today. I do study well. You got B on your previous test. I guess you are a bright student with A plus grades. You glanced to your jaw looking at him while he was just enjoying the scene. Your anger was too cute for him. He was just having fun looking at you like this. Be great? That's enough. I just hired him as your personal tutor. He's gonna make you better student. You widen your eyes. Mom! Enough. Every day he'll come here and teach you well. I won't compromise on your grades. Mom, I swear I'll study hard on my own, please. Shut your mouth now. Ah, uh, dear, now sit here. I have made dinner for you. First eat it, then you can go. She smiled and stood up, while you widen your eyes and then close it in frustration. Put these plates on table and ask Jungle to come and sit on dining table. You grabbed those plates, being annoyed, and went towards Jungle. Mom is calling you for dinner. Saying that you turned around to put plates on table. After doing your business, you turned around and flinched as you saw Jungle standing right behind you being close. How are you feeling knowing you will be studying with me alone in your room? You frowned your eyebrow and pushed him feeling disturbed. But him being strong didn't even move the muscle and start his make widen. Move. You said being angry and he raised his eyebrow and back off because your mom was coming. Mom, I'm not hungry. You carry on. His smile faded knowing you don't want to join him on dinner. Where are your manners? Your sir has came here for the first time. Does it look good letting him eat alone? No one invited him either. You thought rolling your eyes and your eye rolling pissed him off. Looks like she needs to learn some lesson. That's okay ma'am, I'll teach her correctly. Yeah, mommy you can handle this spoiled brat. She's just being too much for me to handle. Jungkook smelt and you just tidy your fist and stomp away from there to your room. You came in your room and dropped your back in anger. It's obvious he is doing this on purpose because who pins this student or try to come near them? Even if he is interested in me, can't he see I am not? Neither I am liking his presence around me. This is getting way too uncomfortable for me. And I don't even know if I can talk about it to mom. Because in her eyes, he is Mr. Perfect. That's enough. Tomorrow I am gonna confront him. After that, you did your homework and ate your dinner, did Netflix and chill and slept. Next morning, you came out of your room after doing your morning routine. Mom, breakfast! Your mom came out of kitchen looking at you seriously. You have to study well now. I don't need any complaint about you anymore. This was the first and last time. He took a deep breath and looked at her. Mom, I'm studying well. It's just, why you hired him as my tutor without asking me? Mom, I'm not comfortable with him. Not comfortable? What do you mean? He's such a nice human being. I talked to him last night and he seemed like a very sensible person. Stop making excuses. Mom, why don't you get it? I'm not making excuses. You are my mom. Don't you think you should listen to your daughter? This is not how parenting works. You said getting angry on her. Now you'll teach me how to do parenting? That's great. I'm the one who raised you. I'm the one who carried you for 9 months in my womb. Don't you ever dare to teach me parenting. You scoff in disbelief and left from there. Time skip. You were passing through hallway when you felt yourself being hugged from back. You instantly flinched and got out from the grip and looked back. As soon as you looked back with shocked and little scared eyes, you sigh in relief, started to calm your heart. Yeah, are you okay? It's just me. You were scared as if some monster touched you. Yeah, that's true. Who will be the bigger monster than you? Seeing that you started to walk again, leaving her behind. Yeah, you entered classroom but it was quite full. Only two chairs were left. 
Eddie went past you and sat on the chair, giving you signals to sit beside Max. Eddie wanted to set you to up for no reasons. In her eyes, you could make a good couple. You know that you had us now. Alright class, said everyone. You widen your eyes as his voice entered your ears. You didn't think twice and sat beside Max. As everyone settled down, his eyes roamed around the classroom to search you. And when he saw you sitting with another guy, he clenched his jaw and started to look at you with angry eyes. Stand up from there. You flinched on a sudden yell and stayed up straight. Huh? Sir? What did I do? Come here and sit right in front of me. You need special attention. Hurry up. You breathed out annoyingly and sat on another student's chair while she went to sit on yours. His eyes went back to normal and he started teaching. He gave all of you some questions to answer in your copy as you were busy solving it. He was looking at you deeply. His eyes never left you. You frowned your eyebrow while looking at the question and he took that opportunity. Any problem? Let me help you. He said, coming closer to your desk. No, I'm okay, sir. He took your copy and started looking at the answer he wrote, completely ignoring your refuse. He leaned on while you back off a little. He put the copy on desk and took the pen intentionally brushing his fingers to yours. He made a light fist and rolled your eyes. See this question? Is your boyfriend? You got confused. Ah, he immediately changed the topic and asked me a certain question. What? I asked, is he your boyfriend? Who? The guy you were sitting with earlier. Tell the truth. Are you serious? Why are you getting involved in a personal matter? Just speak. Yes or no? No. Then why were you sitting with him? You like him? No. You said being annoyed. Just focus on teaching. This is getting too much. This is literally making my blood boil. He back off and murmured. Watching you with another guy makes my blood boil too. Then class continued. Sitting with your friends, enjoying your meal, Ali, Max, and two of your more friends were sitting with you. Well, Max, you know, loves chocolate. If you have a desire to propose her, make sure you buy her chocolates. Ali, stop embarrassing me, you idiot. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in my mind. He said, looking at you while you looked on, kind of blushing. You took a bite of burger while talking to Ali, unknowingly, a little crop of bread remained on the corner of your lip. Max noticed it. Meanwhile, Jungkook entered cafeteria and his eyes went on you. Max extended his hands and took a piece of crumb from the corner of your lips. You were looking at him shocked with stuffed burger in your mouth. Jungkook's eyes went dark and red. His facial expressions were looking like a psycho as if he would burn this whole world. He closed his eyes and started smiling like a manic. Soon he opened his eyes and started coming towards you. What the hell are you doing here? You came back to reality and your eyes went from Max to Jungkook. What? What do you mean? Well, what I mean is shouldn't you be studying instead? It's lunch break. I can see that it's lunch break, but looking at your disappointed grades, you need to study in free time too. Listen, you're just my Twitter at home. Don't try to be like one here. Jungkook got a little shocked and smiled sarcastically. Seems like you got some guts to talk to me like that. No worries, I know how to handle kittens. You made a disgusted, confused face while saying that you laughed and your friends were just surprised. What a weirdo, why was he acting like that? Your mood just went off and you left from there. You stepped inside your home, feeling exhausted from a tiring day, and just put your backpack on sofa while closing your eyes and sat on it, sighing heavily resting your head. Mom, I'm home. You sat while resting on sofa. Oh good, you came. Go meet your teacher, he's waiting for you in living room. She spoke from kitchen. You instantly opened your eyes, being shocked, and looked in front of you. Hello, he said, smirking teasingly. You 
stood up immediately. Hey, you? What are you doing here at this time? What do you mean I'm your daughter? But that's for evening. I just came back from school. How am I supposed to, to study right now? Your mom entered the living room. Be quiet, I called him. He said your exams are next week. You need to study no free time for you. Mom, are you being serious? I haven't even freshened up myself. No, I have ate any lunch. What the hell is wrong with you? Behave, go get fresh and come downstairs. Eat your lunch and then take him to your room to study. You left from there while being on a hike to cry. You freshened up yourself and came down to eat lunch. As you were hella hungry, all three of you ate together. Then as your mother command, you took him to your room and kept the door open. He sat on the chair while you sat in bed. Okay, take out your books. You rolled your eyes and took your books out. He started teaching you genuinely when you focused on what he was teaching. Alright, I'm giving you questions. Answer them in your notebook. Okay, after that you started doing your work. You look up to see us if he is looking at you or not. But to your surprise, he was just looking at his phone. You were kind of relieved but confused too. Although you were pretty faced and not feeling uncomfortable around him, he was acting a little strange for you. He was being good, which you didn't expect from him. Sir, he looked up to see you. Yeah? Then, let me check. He extended his hands towards you but you spoke. Uh, no sir, not this. I'm just confused. You act really weird to me. Like you ask me if I have a boyfriend or not. You just look at me as if I'm your prey right now. You're acting good. I'm just curious why you do all that. What? <laughs> Don't worry, think yourself. I was just worried about your studies. Nothing more. And the reason I ask you if you have a boyfriend or not is because I was finding reason behind your little marks. Really? Oh, now I'm really... You know, I was really uncomfortable with your dad behavior. Thank God everything is fine now. I can study in peace. Yes, you are just a student to me and I'm your teacher. Now study. <laughs> yeah, Jungkook looked at you up and down and spoke. You look up. I was wondering, can you come to my home tomorrow to study? You see, I have some really important work and your house is really far from my house. So I can be super late and you know your mom she's very strict about your studies. You got a really weird feeling inside you as if you should say no. Uh, no you can talk to her she will understand. No it's just a day one and what will she think of me? Just come to my home it's okay don't feel uncomfortable I have mom and sister at home too. No it's not that. Uh, maybe you can give me a day off tomorrow. No way, no holidays. It's okay, I'll talk to your mom, just study. With that, you guys again started to study. Time skips. Next morning, you woke up and did your routine and went downstairs to do breakfast. It was Saturday, which means holiday. You entered living room, stretching your arms while yawning and saw your mom sitting on sofa watching TV. Good morning, mom. You spoke sitting beside her. Morning. You look happy today? She said smiling. Mm, yeah. I slept well last night. After just, it feels good. <laughs> you and your obsession with sleep. Anyways, he asked me to send you at 5. You frown your eyebrow and looked at her. Can you be more specific? I'm not good at reading minds. Jungkook, you idiot. He asked me to send you there at 5. He had some important work to do, that's why. Mom, you agreed sending me to his home alone? I don't want any drama. Mom, are you being serious? I told you I'm not comfortable around him. And you're sending me to a stranger's place alone. And I told you not to give me excuses just because you don't want to study. Also, he's your respected teacher, not some stranger. You were completely disbelieved by her and buried your face in your hands. I'm not going there, sorry. Don't make me punish you. I literally won't talk to you. I have gave my trust to him. Now if you won't go there, he'll be disheartened. 
thinking you don't trust him. With that, she somehow convinced you that your gut feelings were stopping you. Your mom was not ready to listen. She was thinking all of this is an excuse. Time skip. You got ready to go there. You were a little scared but somehow managed to convince your heart that he's a good guy. I was just thinking bad about him. Maybe he's actually worried for my studies. But deep down inside, your mind was stuck on his double meaning sentences which he used to say you. After some time, you reach there and think again before ringing the bell. You hesitantly ring, rang the bell. A while later, Jungkook opened it and smiled looking at you. Hey, come on in. You went inside his house and sat on sofa while he was closing the door. Glad you came. You see, I just got home. Anyway, go upstairs in my room. Open your books. I'm coming. Huh? Why? There, we can study here as well. Jungkook looked at you and spoke. No, uh, this is main living room and my house is not as quiet as yours. So please go. I don't want any distractions. You looked around the house. Where is your mom and sister? Jungkook stopped his movements and spoke. Must be in their room. Now don't waste time and go to my room upstairs. You grabbed your bag and made your way towards his room. As you entered, you were amazed by the big clean room. Everything was organized. You went and sat on chair and put the bag on table, waited for him to come. Sometimes later, Jungkook entered the room and was about to close the door. Sir, he stopped. Leave the door open. Why? I don't want any noises. Sir, please. He turned around and breathed out as if he was not happy with this and left the door open. He started to come closer towards you. He sat in front of you looking at you intensely. Sir chapter 14. You gave him book and he marked some questions which were important. Solve these if any questions ask me. Okay sir. You got busy solving those questions as you didn't notice he was looking at you intensely and darkly. His aura wanted to pierce through you. His eyes suddenly went red and he lost his control. Jungkook suddenly snatched the book from your hands and threw it away harshly making you flinch hard. You looked at him and got really scared. He was looking totally different. He was looking more like a psycho. He stood up and started to walk towards the door. You realized and got up immediately and ran towards the door too. As you reached towards the door, he slammed the door closing it. Due to sudden voice, you scream a little. Sir, what the hell? Jungkook didn't respond and looked at you with psychotic eyes, making you terrified. Sir, please open the door. You're scaring me, please, sir. Who is next to you? You looked at him being confused. He, he's just a friend, sir. Nothing more, I swear to God. Then why were you looking at him with such loving eyes in cafeteria? Sir, please open the door. What is wrong with you? You said I'm just a student. Why are you doing this to me then? Answer the question. He said, gritting his teeth, leaving you on an urge to cry. You again ignored him and started banging the door, asking for help. Well, he just stood there and looked at your behavior. Auntie, auntie, please help me. Open the door, someone, please. My mom is dead. No one is home. You stopped your movements being shocked and turned around to look at him already looking at you with deep eyes. You lied. Jungkook smirked and pulled you closer to him with one hand and tightened his grip around your waist. No, leave me! You started hitting his shoulder wanting to be free from his grip. Ah, uh, my little innocent girl. You know you were right about me yesterday. You being uncomfortable around me was perfect. But what do I do? I needed to act like I'm just a teacher so that I could build your mom's trust. You looked at him with disgusted look and tried hard to remove his hands from your waist. Your mom is such a dumb hat. <laughs> look, she fell for my plan and now you are here in my arms. You were still very confused as all of this were happening so fast. Your tears started to roll from your eyes. Sir, I beg you, please leave me. I won't tell this to anyone. 
I didn't hold you to let you go, my love. I got my eyes on you long time ago. I even came to this school just to be near you. But when I saw you with that bastard Max, I couldn't control myself. And now, you aren't going anywhere. No, please, what are you saying? Just let go of me. I swear I'll kill you. Oh, guts, huh? Look at you. Looks like you need to learn some lesson. He grabbed your hairs from back and pulled it, making you scream in pain. Ah, uh, stop! Baby girl, say that you love me. Come on, good girl. Speak up. Never in my entire life. Jungkook chuckled and spoke. <laughs> Thought so. No face it. He brought his face closer to your neck and smelled it, making you go insane. Your whole body started to shiver and got goosebumps. No, 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 please, what are you doing? This has never done anything to you. He ignored you and sticked his tongue out and licked a small area on your neck, making it wet. He growled, indicating his face when you turned on, and attacked your neck, making you scream and cry, begging him to stop this torture. He was he backed off and harshly threw you on bed with your hairs. It was hurting you. Your face went pale when you saw him unbuttoning his shirt. He looked at you and spit while he noted you had a snow. He left his buttons and started coming closer to you while you tried to crawl back. He grabbed your jaw and spoke. Not right now. Nor like this. I'll have you tonight after marrying you. Your whole world stopped and turned upside down. You felt your heart dropped. Are you freaking in your senses? I'll never marry you ever. Just let me go. I hate you. Jungkook laughed at you and picked up his phone. My mother-in-law should be here in her own daughter's marriage. Wait, let me call her. But if you spook anything from behind, he took out his gun. I'll shoot her. You widen your eyes and tear escaped from your eyes. You were shivering in fear while Jungkook started calling her number. After a while, she picked up and he put his phone on speaker. You kept your hands on your mouth so that no voice can be audible. Hey ma'am, I have called you to inform your daughter suddenly fainted. I don't know what's wrong. Can you come here? What? Is she okay? Oh my god, I'm coming there. Just please keep her with you. Jungkook smiled and spoke looking at you. Don't worry ma'am, she is with me. Only. He ended the call and you burst out crying heavily. Please stop this torture. Don't do this to me. I'm very sorry if I did something to upset you, but please leave me. Don't do it. Poor soul. Let's just wait for your mom to come here and then you will be finally mine. Completely. After some time, the bell rang and your heartbeat raised. Jungkook smiled brightly. Knowing your mom is here, he pressed the button and spoke. Come upstairs to the lab. The door is open. Your mom rushed upstairs as you closed your eyes in defeat. As she came inside the room, she rushed towards you. Are you okay? How you fainted? And why are you crying? I'm here. Calm down. But mother-in-law, she never fainted. He smirked saying this. Excuse me? Why are you calling me mother-in-law? What is he saying? Mom, he, he kidnapped me. You picked down, crying hard on her shoulder, while she widened her eyes. Oh, what? Surprise! Okay now, let's not waste any further time. He picked up papers and gave you pen. Jungkook, how could you? I trusted you. Oh, poor mom. Sorry, but I'm not sorry for breaking your trust. I need to make her mine. No, she won't marry you. Let us go. Too late for this drama. Baby, come on, sing it. You were just crying, not knowing what to do. Ah, I knew this will happen. Such a waste of time you both are. He grabbed his gun and pointed at your mom. Sing it quick. You got terrified. You couldn't risk your mom's life. You were now too helpless in front of him. No, you can't. Shut up, old hell. Your blood boiled and you cried more. You picked up the pan with your shivery hands and sweaty forehead. Jungkook's eyes sparkled and you looked at him one last time and 
he signaled you to sign it. Being hella helpless, you signed it and cried in defeat. Meanwhile, Jungkook laughed like a menace. You are freaking mine. He didn't even waste any second and pushed your mom outside the room and locked the door. After locking it, he started looking at you with lusty eyes. I just did what you said. Please don't ruin me. I'm not ready and I'm very scared. Please have mercy. <laughs> Do I look like a cat? I just want what's mine. Jungkook started to come closer to you. Meanwhile, your mom just kept banging the door, begging him to leave you. No, Jungkook. Please, no. Please, stop. No. That night, he took everything from her, completely ruining her. As if she was a toy with no feelings. Thank you all. Thanks so much.